Good morning, church. Welcome to worship. If you would, let's stand together as we enter into his presence with singing. Let's cry out to him today. Let's sing together.
may be seated if you would. We want to thank you for coming and being a part of worship today at Hillview Heights Church. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Vacation Bible School starts tonight. As you can see, all the stuff around. So uh, you want to bring your kids and any kids you know to Vacation Bible School here because, man, I tell you, every year so many kids come to know Jesus for the first time. So please, please uh, be here. Bring your kids. If you've not pre-registered, you can do that tonight when you bring uh, any preschooler children here. So please be here, all right? Who's going to be here? Raise your hand. Who's going to be here? At least bring a kid. It's a good thing I can't see the lights. I can't see. All right. Uh, so also, if this is your first time here, you are our guest, and we do appreciate you coming. And so we've got a packet of information that we want to give you that tells you a little bit about our church. And so if you would, uh, we'll, if you just raise your hand for just a second, we'll bring that straight to your seat. Anybody here for the first time today? First time. Anybody right down here some? Anybody else over that way? you just keep your hand up for just a second. We'll be uh, up in the balcony, I see. Up in the balcony, if somebody up there could help us out, it'd be great. Man, make them feel welcome one more time, church, if you'll do that. It's great. Also, a couple more things I want to remind you of and tell you of. Number one is we have communion that is set up under the balcony. And in the balcony, you'd like to make that a part of your worship experience. Our tradition here is to tear off a piece of bread and dip it in the cup. Receive communion that way. If you want to do that, you can do that during these next few songs as we enter into worship. Also today, uh, right before we have our offering, you're going to hear from Pastor Steve. All right? He'll be right up here on the screen, so you hear from him. All right? We just continue to pray, pray, pray. It's been mir a miracle how um, God has been continually healing his body. And, uh, and so we'll get to hear a brief word from him this morning. Isn't that great? It's great. So um, if you don't mind, let's stand together. And we're going to just keep singing to him. How about that? Let's sing together. You wear the victor's crown. You're my help and my defender. You're my savior and my prayer. By your grace, I live and breathe to worship you. At the mention of your greatness, in your name I will bow down. In your presence, fear is silent. For you wear the victor's crown. Let your glory. Let your power overflow. By your grace, I live and breathe. 
grave could not contain you, for you were the victor. church sing it
You may be seated. We got some baptisms. All right, church. Welcome Jonah to the baptismal waters. Jonah, I'm so excited what God's doing in your life, and uh, I'm excited about your obedience to him. So I want to ask you a few questions. Do you believe that Jesus walked the earth and lived a perfect life? Yes, I do. You believe he died on the cross and rose again three days later? Yes. And he's coming to your life and forgiving you of your sin? Oh, yes. All right. Well, then, Jonah, my sister in Christ, it's upon that profession of faith that I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried and risen. <laughs> Father, we just come to you and we lift Jonah up to you. And Lord, I'm so thankful that you brought her here. And I'm so thankful uh, for the healing and the redemption that you brought into her life. And, and Lord, for this moment uh, where she wants everybody to know that she follows you. And so Lord, I pray for your richest blessings over her. And I pray you just continue to lead her and guide her. Lord, open doors for her to share with others what you're doing in her life. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, let's welcome on the screen, Pastor Steve. Hillview, it is a delight to be back with you. I am so thankful for you. I cannot tell you how much I am grateful for a church like Hillview Heights. Thank you for your many prayers and your continuing prayers. We come upon one of the greatest weeks in the life of the church. I wish I could be there every minute, but my health at the moment is not going to allow me to do that. But my spirit and the Holy Spirit and God through me and with you and together we will encounter Vacation Bible School. I want you to join with me in praying for every teacher, every child, and let us pray that no child leave Vacation Bible School without a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I am so thankful to be alive. Our God reigns, our God lives, and our God heals, and he will continue to do so. I thank God for Pastor Jamie and his leadership in this pulpit. I know that you all have heard wonderful preaching. In a few weeks, I hope to be back with you as Jamie and I have the great privilege of sharing the Word of God with you. I thank God for Pastor Mark, our elders, our BAM team, and the leadership that you all provided. And you all pray that in just a few weeks, we'll be back together. I look forward to that day. And until then, may we connect, may we heal, and may we develop. And may God be in everything we do. I love you, and may God bless this week of Vacation Bible School. Amen. Church, let's bow our heads together. Let's thank God for what he's done in Pastor Steve's life. We're going to pray for this offering at the same time. Let's, let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for the miracle that you've provided in the healing of our pastor. As you continue to heal his body and his mind, Lord, we, um, we are with him. We intercede for him. We stand in the gap for him. And we continually, daily pray for him, Lord, that you will heal him completely and utterly. God, I just thank you for, for the hospitals and the nurses and doctors that you provided for his care. But, Lord, you're the great physician, and you know him better than anyone because you created him. And thank you for continuing to put his body to get back together again. Lord, I pray for this time of offering uh, as we, your, uh, your people, obey you today and worship you in this time of offering. Uh, let this be a reflection of our hearts as your children, God. Uh, as we give back, because, Lord, you gave. You gave the ultimate. You gave your life on a cross. And it's because of that cross that we stand here today. It's because of this cross that we are worthy before you, not by our own might or by our own power, but through the blood of Jesus. We stand victorious and whole before you because you love us and you care for us. We love you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen.
the life he gave Your body was broken Your love poured out You bled and you died for me There on the cross You breathed your last as you were crucified you gave it all for me Hallelujah, you are the Savior Hallelujah, you are a friend Hallelujah, you're king forever We thank you for the cross And though our sins are sky 